Agricultural Bank of Namibia's Agri-Advisory Services Division offers training to farmers and bank clients in various farming enterprises in all 14 regions of Namibia through face-to-face -face sessions. The AgriLearn online platform will share production content on various agriculture farming enterprises to build the knowledge of farmers from all walks of life. Join us as we embark on this virtual journey towards sustainable farming as we zoom into the basics of crop and horticulture production. Good day farmers, my name is Hank Saisai. I'm the technical advisor for crops and poultry within AgriBank's Agri-Advisory Services Division. Dryland cropping, it's a practice that is done in Namibia to grow crops with the aid of the rainfall. So in this kind of production, you don't have any irrigation system. You rely 100% on the rainfall you receive in your area. So it's, it's a common practice from November until April each and every year. And farmers grow staple grains like maize, mahangu, sorghum. And they also grow crops such as beans, groundnuts, and pumpkins and watermelon. So there are certain aspects that are of crucial importance to a farmer who relies on rainfall. The first one is to ensure that before you do any production, you check the forecast for the upcoming rainy season to know how much rainfall you are likely going to receive, how much rainfall will be distributed in each month and the intensity of the rainfall. That is very important. And once you know the amount of rainfall, the distribution and the intensity of the rainfall, you as a crop farmer, you need to understand that you need to buy a seed or a variety of crops that can grow within that specific period of time. So when you grow maize, and you rely 100% on rainfall, it's quite key to understand that maize needs at least 500 millimeters of rainfall that is evenly distributed. And by the time your maize is flowering, there shouldn't be any dry spells in terms of rainfall not being received for a week or two, because that can hinder the amount of maize that you can yield from each plant. So ensure that you do the forecasting and always understand that the growing period of your crop plays a very important role in that November, April period when you are receiving free rainfall. Always make sure that if you are growing uh, cereal crops like Mahangu, you go for varieties such as Okashana number two because they have a short growing period and early maturity. So that helps you to play within the growing period. With dry land crop production, you must always make sure that when you are tilling the land, you use implements such as a tractor pulling a plow or a tractor pulling a disc plow or you can even still make use of drought and draft animal power whereby you use oxen and donkey to pull a plow and then that makes the soil easy and when you are sowing your seeds always ensure that you have spaces that are recommended for each maize seed and uh, maybe for the mahangu it might be a bit dif difficult because of the size of the seed but anyways always remember after growing your crops after the current rainy season has come to an end and you are now harvesting. Try by all means to leave at least 20 centimeters of the stovers on the soil so that they can hold the soil particles together. And if there is wind in your area, you reduce the rate at which soil erosion occurs and you don't lose valuable topsoil. And if you are an integrated farmer or a diversified farmer, you can always get manure from your livestock kraal, your poultry house, and you throw it all over your crop field and it's incorporated in the soil. This increases the fertility status of your soil to ensure that next time when you are growing your crops, you have oversupplied the soil with nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, making it easy for the crop that you are going to grow there. So in short, that is it about dryland cropping. That's it for now. Join us next time for more valuable insights. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to avoid missing out on new content. Also, Follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram pages for more content.